Let's say someone throws a burnt toast. Instead of refreshing the page, you're having to wait, and sometimes even if you wait a long period of time, the burnt toast doesn't even go away. A faster way of letting this go away it's a simple life hack. Go up to appearance. In appearance, just go ahead and change your nose. And then once you change your nose, click on it again and then change it back to what it was before. And if you notice, now my avatar is back to normal. It would be cool if our world had an option just to turn off the robles because it does make your computer lag quite a bit. Another really cool life hack is down here at the bottom left, I have a ton of flow that I need to spend. And sometimes going to the bubbler, just clicking 10 constantly, it's boring and it's tedious and you have to like go down here and then you have to sell these one by one. And so a faster way of doing this and having flow spend automatically where you don't have to do anything is go to the prize wheel, hold shift and alt on your keyboard and then click spin. Whenever you let go, the prize wheel will spin and then it'll just continue to keep spinning over and over again. So you can actually X out of this and you can chat with your friends. And even as you're chatting, if you look down at the bottom left, my flow is still being spent. So you can earn flow and spend flow at the very same time, which is really cool. And before you know it, all your flow would be spent. This life hack is really simple. It's really quick. Whenever you have your outfit set top right in your profile, you can change the background color of your profile. And I always try to color coordinate my profile to my outfit. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Also in your inventory, a lot of the time, whenever you shop, a lot of people buy a lot of different color outfits. It's actually better to buy some of the same color outfits. That way you can mix and match, match outfits and items. For the li last life hack, in the marketplace, if you click clothing and then you go to mystery boxes, my best suggestion is whenever you get a mystery box, it's very tempting to open that mystery box because you think you might get a really cool item. But a lot of the times you don't. So whenever you do get a mystery box, Sometimes it's better just to post it on the marketplace. For example, the Fright Mystery Box 2009. This person's asking for two Zoe's Club memberships. That's pretty insane. So my best suggestion is just always post your mystery box to the marketplace, get coins for it, or exchange it for better items. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. I might make another video that's helping people trade in the future, or I might do trades myself and just showing you how I trade with other people. Thank you guys all for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. My name's Sky or Donnie Pie. And until next time.